Welcome back into the live desk. My name is Janae Hancock. Um, as you can see there on your screen, Kansas City is certainly making a name for itself. I guess we can say they're more than we're more than just barbecue and football, but we're also known for now the music scene. A lot of artists are making their way to the area to have Kansas City as their backdrop for their music video. So with that being said, I do want to turn things over to our guests. You're taking a look at Kristen Thomas. Kristen, you were just walking around or you were just in the area and you happened to come across the video we just saw on our screen. Tell us a little bit more about who you saw and how that all came about. Well, my husband and I live in the historic Northeast and we'd just been out running errands for the day and decided to go up to Kessler Park because it was windy and he wanted to fly a kite. And as we circled around the old reservoir, my husband's like, that's, that's J. Cole, that's Jermaine, that's J. Cole. So he was actually the one that first recognized him um you know we saw a crew there was a truck full of equipment and so we just pulled over to uh kill two birds with one stone fly a kite and uh cj cole <laughs> and so how was that experience did you guys see maybe he shot like a whole music video out there or was he only out there for a brief amount of time uh they were out there for what seemed like about 30 to 45 minutes um there were definitely different crew people coming in and out there were a couple of folks flying drones. Uh, there were some other people who had, I don't know if they, they were in the park or they were following the van or something, but there were other people who I don't think were with the video, but were definitely uh, trying to scope out what was going on because they saw him. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think I, I've seen a few videos on social media of people just kind of walking past and they just happen to come across the rapper as well. Now, I think it's kind of unique because He's not the first um, artist that made their way here. I know we had ASAP Rocky just a few months ago and he brought in his girlfriend, Rihanna, and he mm -hmm. shot a Beats headphones commercial as well as a music video. So why do you think that J. Cole specifically chose the Kessler Park area? Uh, that looks like it was the old reservoir, which has some really unique art, you know, graffiti art. Um, it's a bit overgrown, so it's pretty private. I'm sure that was a spot where they could just go in get out real quick without having a lot of people spot them. Um, but also, I mean, Kansas City, the, the Film Commission has done a great job of trying to attract people to come film projects here. And our, our city, it just, it has a lot of very unique spots. And you know, I think there's a lot of other places that are utilized consistently, but either they cost a lot or everybody else has already done it. So this is, I think for a lot of artists, probably a, um, a fresh or a blank canvas. I would have to agree. And you mentioned the fact that your husband is, he noticed the artist and what was his reaction just kind of watching him um, go back and forth and going over his music video? My husband was uh, kind of standing back, not wanting to, neither of us really wanted to impose. Um, in fact, I was reluctant to even post a video to social media because I, I didn't know if it was trespassing there at the old reservoir, but um, my husband and I are both huge hip hop fans and, um, I was willing to go up and take the film where my ma my husband was standing back going like, don't bother him, don't bother him. So I, I think that that's all th another thing about Kansas City is that uh, we tend to be very respectful of people's time and space and uh, we don't tend to turn into paparazzi around here. And I definitely want to give our viewers another look at that video um, that you shot, uh, Kristen, uh, while in the area just happened to come across Robert J. Cole um, for the viewers who are just now joining us. Uh, I know another video that was posted on social media as well. They said that they, uh, J. Cole actually walked past them and spoke. Did you have the opportunity to interact with him at all? I didn't. I really was trying to give him his space to do his thing. Um, I, I'm sure that's one thing when you are an artist, you've, you've got people trying to come in and take your time and be in your space a lot. So I, I did give him um, the trying to give him the respect of just letting him do his thing. And I, um, I don't know, maybe I was just a little bit more of a creeper filming from afar, but <laughs> I, just, I, I was trying to let him do his thing. But you are not the only one because like I said, I've seen so many videos, so you're not the only one, but I do appreciate you taking the time to hop on for the to the live desk with me uh, to talk about this experience. And I think the bigger picture here to focus on is the fact that artists are really making their way to Kansas City and seeing Kansas City as the perfect place to have as the backdrop for their music videos, for their movies and for everything else. So thank you so much, Kristen, for joining me here at the live desk. And I do wanna leave our viewers with another look um, at that shot of J. Cole, we'll have to see what music video it might be in. <laughs> yeah.
Thank you so much for having me.